Good evening, everybody. Yogi Vinodanand from uh, Bali, Indonesia. Uh, we are going to share now a very precious technique, yoga technique, to how to relax your mind, especially when uh, you are under pressure, you are feeling low, you are I mean, passing through any anxiety or any emotional pressure. So here is the way. This is a miraculous, you can say, not pranayama, it's a breathing technique, you know. So here it's very simple. You have to lie down in corpse posture. And preferably, it's, if it's evening, you know, for example, now in Bali, this is your vest. So I'm facing my head towards vest after the sunset. And if it's in the morning, so you can face your head towards the east from where the sun rises. This is very technical, you know. Now, whenever you feel, you know, frustrated, anxiety, emotional pressure, just because of with the interaction with the world, so what you can do is lie down in the cause posture, as I have told you the direction, and completely losing your body. So here goes the way how we have to breathe, simply lose the body, then observe your breath. And now what you have to do is very simple. You have to see as a newborn child sleeps, you observe him when he breathes in, it, the stomach, the belly comes out. So the rib cage is not expanded, the stomach comes up, giving linear expansion to your lungs. So this, your breath, that, I mean, the, how deep you are breathing, how much is the frequency, how many breaths slow, it depends, it is directly related to your emotional, mental and thought process. So what, observe me carefully, now as you are lucky enough if you have kittens uh, with you as God has gifted me the company. See now you walk at my belly you know. What I am doing is see. Now my kitten is very much my tinchu. So another my kitten is in my oh picked he is sleeping. Tinchu is sleeping. Okay so now look at my belly. I am breathing in. See. Pinchu is enjoying the swings of my breath. So this is what I have to show you. The moment of your, you have to see, slowly breathe in without making any sound. Look at me again. So, this is the way of the, to calm down, it's a technique, this is the way to relax your mind. Come to the cause posture, even if you are in your office, never mind if you cannot lie down, simply in your chair, just to loosen your body and concentrate on your breaths, just observe. It's going in, it's going out. If you are I mean, stressed, anxiety, you'll find the, your breath will be faster comparatively. So first you observe it. Slowly, the moment you observe your breath, your mind is focused back to your body, your system from the whole system is operating. Then you'll, uh, the first thing will happen. All the things will be controlled, you know, you'll be tranquilized. Like again, see my stomach, how my puppy is enjoying, how my catty, my pinchu, bless him. Along with you, I am sharing most precious yoga with you. See, breathe in, breathe out.
So it's like this. Okay. So like this when you are in the company of animals, see, the mama is here, cat is here sleeping. See how wonderful. That's why, you know, non forest under all circumstances. Buddham, Sharanam, Gachami. This is your, now when you are in the company of these kittens, you know, lovely animals, you have not to make any conscious effort of doing any yoga. Okay, you will be dreaming, you know, lions, tigers, and the bravery frequency, fortitude, automatically comes to you. And you become, your mana becomes like this, tender, you know, oh, innocent, oh, here, again, this is the way, lie down, relax, simply watch your breath and slowly, first you have to do it consciously, then it happens automatically, and the night, you observe, whenever you are perfectly at calm and quiet, okay, so you'll feel this automatically happens, you know, this. So friends, so like this we should keep sharing I mean, natural things with the humanity. We are all children in the laps of the mother nature. And meditation is perpetual. It's not something to be done just for one hour in the morning or in the evening. It's only a drill. Like as in childhood days we learned balancing on the three-wheel bicycle, then we are on the two-wheeler. You know, it's something spot. I and mean, automatically it happens. So all the time we have to be merged in the Lord. It's all Lord, you know, this personified Lord, you know, see? These innocent puppy, uh, kittens, you know. And then you are all the time merged in the Lord in the state of blissfulness. The moment you are with these innocent animals, you know, in uh, Gurbani it is, uh, they always say Ajar hai, Amar hai, Nant hai, means the God is so oh, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. So the moment we think of any object or anything, slowly our mind takes the shape of that particular thing. If you think of innocent people, I mean saintly people, the masters, Jesus Christ, you know, for every religion, Better concentrate your mind on your religious gods, you know. Muslims, Prophet Muhammad. Jesus Christ, Krishna. Hindu, Lord Shiva, Lord Krishna. Like this Buddhism, when you think of them, and when you think of, you know, brave masters, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, bravery, solitude, you know, sacrifice automatically induces in you. I am giving you a wonderful secret. See, Oh, when you do meditation, they are in perfect bliss. Ah, these animals, and this is taking me. Oh, <laughs> sorry for disturbing you. Lovely. So this is no samadhi, no meditation can be more precious than this, you know. Yeah, I, I have experienced Samadhi, I never tell lies. I have experienced Kevli Kumbhaka. All yogis, we have to reach there. The day you reach, now in this Kevli Kumbhaka can happen to you. With these innocent puppies lying, with the whole vibration charged. First of all, your breath will slow down and the, the way I told you, see, like this, Deep breathing. You'll feel as if you're breathing right from your nostril to your navel and more lower, then breathing out. Breathing in, the serenity will descend upon you. So, this I wanted to share with you. When it's evening, do your meditation like this. Okay? May God bless the whole humanity, all the creatures. This is the best way, Buddham Sharanam Gachami, to reach the, oh my, even beyond Samadhi, 
God is infinite. This planet is only one planet. Lakha Akash, Lakha Patal, Baba Nanak means the planets like this are countless, countless, infinite. So, salvation, then your moksha, samadhi, we are talking all on this planet, mortal world, only this planet. Like this planet, there are definitely under different frequencies. There are heavens and hells, no doubt. There are. They are not merely myths, you know. They are different frequencies. Now let me talk to you now. So, this bulb, it's an illusion. Fifty times it's, it's on-off. It's on-off, going on. Thirty, fifty cycles, alternate current. It's an illusion that it's continue. Our eyes are capable of seeing this only up to 17 cycles per second. Otherwise it is continuity, elusive straight. 0.3 to 3.4 your audio frequency. So this mortal world, this whole phenomena of the this earth is in these particular frequencies which through this garb, kshetra, this body, we are, have been limited down. That's why we call iceberg, you know. The more we go into the subconscious, unconscious, then comes the perception of the great masters, Baba Nanak Dev Ji. Kur dunya, kur raja, kur parja. This whole world is a trash. Trash in the sense, when there is something in juxtaposition, then only you can differentiate between what is trash and what is jewelry. So only we are, you know, involved in this trash only, so we have to go beyond, far beyond. Solar powered humans, join us, philanthropic mission. Yesterday I put a video, one hour headstand on some waterfall. In two, three hours headstand, we go to timelessness, the time of beyond the solar powered, uh, I mean, system, solar system, you know. The soul is solar powered, you know. So we are all solar powered humans. So we have to go beyond that, perceive that Brahma. Brahma means the creator. <laughs> I'm enjoying you too, enjoy it. Satyug Dwapar Trita Kalyug. All yugas make one day of Brahma Loka. Means to know Brahma is to become Brahma. To know doctor is to become doctor. To know God is to become do God. So it's how confusing. It's one and the same, you know. Oh, it's a game of transformation. Be truthful. Serve the animals. Buddham sharanam gachami. Buddham sharanam gachami. Thanks for watching me. I'm in... It's a true meditation, you know, with the animals, the, the kittens. Oh, may God bless the whole humanity, all the living creatures. The best way, the only way, the only gateway to salvation. Don't hurt others, you won't be hurt. Buddham, Sharnam, Gachami. May God bless these lovely creatures. Please, oh, the compassion of the Mother, the Lord, they can take you to the meditation, Samadhi. May God bless them, may God bless them. Um, thank you for watching, thank you for watching. Be with solar powered humans. It's a philanthropic mission. Be on these gadgets only. Anything under the sun in yoga, hatha yoga, Samadhi. We welcome you to Bali. Bali is open now. Om Namah Shivaya. Let's share the best thing of ours with the whole humanity. As we have been given the technology, you know, sophisticated. You fly fearless, safe in the aeroplanes. Now you are communicating on these gadgets. So like this, spiritualism too is very scientific. Very precise, pure like Share these things. Just for accumulating wealth, business, God you know. Once your basic needs are finished, you don't need anything. Then it's a hypocrisy. 
uh, you cannot justify your disciplines are disciplines yoga means non accumulation of wealth sarabesi non violence and all circumstances aparigraha means compassion truthfulness just you cannot confuse yoga with the other i mean your way of life and distort the statement no no you know nothing can justify your